Hello YouTube and there it is. There, there we go. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another raging reality reaction video. Now tonight guys, have I got another little Christmassy sort of fair thing going on here. And I say Christmassy because if if the title for this song looks familiar, it is literally because this is Nightwish's cover of Walking in the Air from The Snowman by a man called uh, Howard David Blake, I think was the man who uh, r originally wrote this for The Snowman. I could be wrong about that, but, <laughs> but, but at the very least... Because it's, this is giving me two things I can sort of like work with here. First off, listening to uh, Taya's voice is one, that's a present in itself. Secondly, this is the, I think this is like the penultimate song to uh, Oceanborn that we've, we've got to cover. Because I think Night Quest is the last song on this album, taking everything into consideration. So this is going to be really interesting. Like, I, I can't wait to see... Uh, what this is, what, what on earth could walk, how on earth could this, can you, because listen, Walking in the Air, it's a great song in itself already, just how on earth can you make this better? Because Nightwish have had some of the covers that they've done before, like uh, they did Pink Floyd's uh, Stargazer before, and I'm, I'm trying to think of like if there was like another example, I just can't seem to quite remember, but... They've been really, really good, but not for the reasons you may suspect. They're prop. They're diff. They're good because they are such wonderful variants on what has already been done. Especially, well, take St Pink Floyd's Stargazer for a very strong example. But with all that being said and done, if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, links will all be in the description down below. Let's begin. Walking in the air in three, two, one, and. few things. One, Taya is literally one of the most decorated, if not one of the most beautiful, beautiful voices there's ever been, period. <laughs> I make no pretension about that either, because I would I would say even Floor Jansen has got to be a little bit wary about them. I would say Floor Jansen definitely, because Taya, she was... It's it's kind of like Susan Boyle in a very strange way. This is this a very soprano, uh, a very soprano type vo voice. It was made for grandiose sort of. I I don't even want to say want to call walking the air grandiose. I just want to say the pitch, the tone, and it just oh one second. It just it's so friggin' lovely. It is lovely to listen to. And if you want an idea of what lovely is, somebody requested that, uh, I'll, I'll get into that later when we get into it, but, uh, let's just, let's just, let's just sit back and listen to this. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's let's turn this up even more. 
I feel like this is the least tire deserves. Okay, guys, just... <sighs> How best can I possibly put this? Um, I'm just waiting for encoding overload considered to turn volumes but faster encoding packed. I'm waiting for this just to stop. It should be now. Okay, there we go. Now, that guy was walking in. You know what? Actually, you know what? I've got a better idea. I don't listen. I don't re I don't even like the snowman very much. I I prefer the snow dog because the snowman and the snow dog a little bit more. But it's it's just it, I think they were just for my opinion in my opinion they were much better sort of like animated sort of like uh, Christmas specials out there. Like when I was a kid, one of my absolute favorites were, uh, and and this is something I would still watch almost every single Christmas for like the last. 
17 years, uh, the Postman Pat Christmas special, where uh, Sir Father, where Santa goes around with uh, Postman Pat uh, delivering uh, the mail and all that. And in which, uh, I don't remember Pat's kid but pretty much, but he basically he just wants snow and uh, Santa makes, uh, he gives the present of, of snow uh, at the very end of the, at the end of the, uh, the end of the special. Uh, one of my also, another one of my favourites is uh, the Little Bill uh, Christmas special where Alice the Great is stuck in it. I think she's, I don't know, where, I don't know what airport she's stuck at. I don't know whether it's like, I never found out, but then of course, there's this great part at the end where Alice, obviously Alice the Great re- returns home and they put the star on top of the tree on uh, Christmas Day. Which uh, that was that's just that was really touching. I've L- Little Bill was always was was one of my favorites as a kid growing up, uh, and also what a, another great one I I I always look forward to watching was the was the Bob the Builder Christmas special because that one that was that one had Chris Evans and Elton John starring and it is just it's wholesome family entertainment. I know. Ne- I say that because I never liked the snowman. I thought, I I, I mean, of, of its marvel, considering it came out uh, in the uh, mid eighties, it was really imp- I I suppose it was really impressive. But this and and I I listen. I'm the sort of guy I love stories that have almost no dialogue whatsoever. I mean, <laughs> if you've ever seen any of the videos I've done where I've talked about like screenwriting and all that, those are the sort of things I love. But the way it ends as well is just like what well, how do you even take that as a kid when you're watching uh uh that the kid james just sits uh, as his friend is just nothing more than just slu- just a pile of fallen snow and then the credits just start rolling that's just that's just that's freaking i mean it's it's a really ballsy move to go for that direction but who the hell wants ugh, it's just it was great and all, but then of course they just had to put that in the end. It just because I, I remember when I was first watching that when I was like four years old. I still don't know how the hell I'm expected to take that or anyone really supposed to take that for the very first time. But then yet again, one of the best one of the best parts about uh, doing stuff like that is that, if, for the lack of a better term, you have to get introduced. You have to come to terms with uh, stuff like that. I only bring, put this tangent up for this reason, is that if, and this is a very strong if, someone could mix in or, or, or substitute the original Walking in the Air and substitute that with Night Wishes Walking in the Air, I would friggin', I would friggin binge The Snowman like every day up until Christmas of December. Because this was just... It was ve- it, it kept true to what to the to pretty much most of the original pitch, but tires. Of, oh my god! Because one of the, I, I made I made one of the other things I do know about walking in the air is that the kid who and I say kid that this guy well boy was twelve years old when he sung uh, walking in the air, which I'm not gonna admit I'm I'm gonna admit that way. that's that's a feat to humanity that's. Well, that that anybody can sing quite like that. Taya, however, is a person. Well, she is a person who can sing quite like no other. <laughs> so it's you, you immediately. I kind of suspected that we were going to get something beautiful, but then of course they Empu actually was Empu and Hitalia in Nightwish at the very beginning because I'm pretty sure there were like some other people who were involved, but I absolutely. Oh God! Because <laughs> I know fine well where Italia has got a solo album coming out as well that you you, you can count. I'm going to be binging that as well as ev- almost uh, Taya's entire catalogue after Nightwish. Uh, Holopane's solo album of uh, Scrooge McDuck is definitely going to be a big one. I want to do for next year, and just God, oh my, it. Why on earth? Listen, if you are in any way involved in Nightwish, whether you're playing with them or you're in any way like, I don't know, possibly like stagehand or uh, producer or anything like that, you, I think, I don't want to say a, 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 
a career is guaranteed, but you are part of a very exclusive club, which I've got to I, I, listen. I, I've got to make this absolutely plain. I've got to see Nightwish in concert now, because I am one hundred percent convinced. Because as much as I know that I'm going to love Steel Panther and then Wasp next year. Well, actually, I hope I'm definitely seeing Steel Panther in 2020, and I probably may go and see Wasp in October. I have got to know when Nightwish is coming to the UK. You know, forget Taylor Swift headline Glastonbury. Get Tyre. Get Floor Jansen. Get Annette Olsen. Get any. Get get anyone for Nightwish to do it, and. I mean, I I don't know. I know. I mean, one thing I know that Baby Metal were in Glastonbury last year, and I might take a look at that at some point uh, next year. But this just I do not know what I want to say. Be uh, apart from amid all the Christmas songs that they've been playing on repeat whilst I've been at work, why the hell do they not put this on? This was <sighs> this was in this is both. A, a throwback to a Chris, a classic Christmas song without really being about Christmas, but they've also turned it into a ballad. They've turned it into something romantic, beautiful, something that you just cannot put into words, but you know is so special and important because, because of what I've been talking about, it holds a place in my heart because I remember as a kid watching all those specials and never really liking uh, The Snowman again, but I loved the song walking in the in the air just <sighs> well i hope at least if even i know because i could i i'm, I'm gonna guess that Anne is maybe out there watching this this is going to be i hope i will this is like work it worth it because i know fine well she requested a lot of stuff from the buddha what is aries uh, tour that night wished in a few uh weeks ago so Hopefully that'll be something for her to look forward to. I know I'll be looking forward to it as well. Um, so anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this reaction video. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought of Walking in the Air by Nightwish. Please also make sure to also like and subscribe to so get daily notifications when my videos come out. And I hope to all of you guys again in the next reaction video. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Zoop.